So uh, we'll start by studying the Samuelson rule, which is one of the elements of our optimal uh, public spending formula. So the Samuelson rule we said was uh, took the uh, following form. <laughs> So Samuelson, that's 1954. It says that the marginal rate of substitution between public and private consumption, and this, this marginal rate of substitution actually is a function of G over C, the ratio of public to private consumption has to be equal to one. So that's the Samuelson rule. <clears throat> so it basically says that you, you know, and what it says is that du dg is equal to du dc. So you spend on public good until the marginal utility of public goods equal to the marginal utility of private good. Okay, um, so that's our Samuelson rule. So now from this, let's define Samuelson spending, which is the amount of public spending implied by the Samuelson rule. So Samuelson spending will denote it by G. So the marginal rate of substitution is a function of G over C, so we'll denote it by G over C star, that's Samuelson spending, such that the marginal rate of substitution at G over C star is equal to 1. Okay, So this is basically the amount of public spending or you know, public employment or public consumption, uh, here all these things are equivalent, that satisfies the Samuelson uh, rule. So this is our Samuelson spending and We know that it's well defined. Why? Because we know that the marginal rate of substitution uh, is. We know that the marginal rate of substitution is strictly more than one at zero, and then it's strictly decreasing in G over C. So uh, there'll be, you know, there'll be a ratio G over C star so that the marginal rate of substitution is just uh, is just equal to one. And so this is, if you want, optimal. Uh, this would be optimal public spending in a neoclassical model, in which you take into account the value of government uh, goods. All right. So this is Samuelson spending. So now uh, this is going to show up in our formula because the marginal rate of substitution which shows up in the formula can actually be uh, re-expressed as a function of um, public spending and Samuelson spending. So I'm going to do a first order approximation of the marginal rate of substitution uh, around uh, G over C star, so over, or around the Samuelson uh, spending. I can do that, of course, because I know that the marginal rate of substitution between um, public and private consumption is a function of the ratio between public and private consumption. So I'm allowed to do uh, first order approximation. So if I do that first order approximation, I get that the marginal rate of substitution is approximately equal. So, you know, I just do a Taylor expansion. I truncate all the terms that are of second order and above, so it's a marginal rate of substitution at the Samuelson level, your system, plus the derivative of the marginal rate of substitution with respect to G over C, um, because here G over C is the argument that I'm uh, looking at, times the deviation of G over C from G over C star. Okay, um, so here it's an approximation. So what we do is that we omit all terms uh, of order two and above. Okay. Now a couple of things that will allow us to um, simplify this uh, very much. So first of all, by definition, the marginal rate of substitution at GC stars is just equal to one. 
Uh, that's just the definition of Samuelson spending. Second thing that's key is that um, we know something about the derivative of the marginal rate of substitution with respect to GRC because um, this is governed by the elasticity of substitution between public and private um, consumption. So we know that uh, 1 over epsilon, where epsilon is the elasticity of substitution, is equal to minus d log MRS over d log GC. <coughs> Um, but we know that you know, if we have a function f, we know that df is just f prime. If we have a, it's just f prime of x dx, right? So, um, so d log of the marginal rate of substitution that's just minus one over the marginal rate of substitution. Uh, you know, which is just the derivative of the log times d mrs gc okay and that's divided by d log of uh, g over c and the d log of g over c is just d g over c so a change in the ratio between g and c d over c and then uh, times the derivative of the log which is just d log x is 1 over x so then we can put a g over c here in the um, in the numerator uh, now, of course, our derivative here uh, has to be evaluated at g over c star. So, the so derivative is evaluated at g over c star. Okay, because that's uh, because I'm doing a first order approximation around g over c star. So I get that uh, the derivative of the marginal rate of substitution with respect to the ratio between public and private consumption uh, at, of course, this is evaluated at G over C star. It's going to be, using what we've said, it's going to be 1 over epsilon. I'm going to have a minus. And then I move the fraction to the other side. So I get MRS, the marginal rate of substitution, but evaluated at G over C star divided by g over c star. So thanks to um, this elasticity of substitution that I've introduced earlier, I'm able to compute the, the derivative of the marginal rate of substitution. Uh, and this simplified greatly because this is minus 1 of epsilon. The marginal rate of substitution at g over c star, by definition of Samuelson spending, is just 1. And so this is just minus 1 over epsilon divided by g over c star. Now, we can therefore plug all of this over there, and I get a simple expression for the marginal rate of substitution. So my marginal rate of substitution between public and private consumption is just 1 minus 1 over epsilon times, and then I get, uh, I get g over c minus g over c star divided by g over c star. Okay, and uh, maybe even more helpful for later on. Therefore, I get that the 1 minus MRS GC, so the difference between 1 and the marginal rate of substitution, um, is just going to be 1 over epsilon. So the inverse of the elasticity of substitution between public and private good, times GC minus G over C star over G over C star. So this is basically the deviation, the relative deviation of the ratio between public and private good compared to its Samuelson level. Um, so this is just our elasticity of substitution. between um, public and private goods. So this is telling us how easy it is to substitute private consumption by public consumption. And um, this is uh, basically a measure of the departure uh, from Samuelson spending, because Samuelson spending is due over sister. So this is a departure from Samuelson spending. 
Okay, so it's telling you whether you spend more or you spend less than Sam Wilson. Um, and, and this is something that we are going to call down the line a stimulus spending. Because it's an amount of spending, we'll see that's driven by stabilization consideration. And so it's not the total amount of spending, but it's how much the spending departs from its Sam Wilson level, which will be, as we'll see, which will hold when the economy is efficient. So this is going to correspond to st the stimulus spending. We're going to define it that way. Um, Okay, so this is a, an important result that we'll plug it into to simplify our formula. Uh, so 1 minus the MRS is just stimulus spending or departure from Samuelson spending divided by the elasticity of substitution between public and private goods.